This is a painful time for our Jewish community and for the Wilton community at large. Community leaders disheartened by an anti-Semitic note found on a Jewish student's locker just this week. That message reading, Jews will burn. This incident is reprehensible. Wilton Superintendent Kevin Smith speaking out alongside police and town leaders. Together, we stand against the threat of incidents like these from becoming normalized and defend against being desensitized to acts of hate and violence. School and community leaders holding a meeting for parents early Friday morning to hear their concerns firsthand. It was absolutely clear from that meeting that there is an enormous amount of pain and of fear rippling throughout the community. School leaders now working on a plan to insert lessons on these issues into their district's curriculum. In the meantime, Fox 61 finding out Wilton is not alone. We've learned as these incidents have really increased here in Connecticut over the past year and a half, maybe two years, we've seen approximately 100% rise in the number of incidents reported to our office. The director of the Anti-Defamation League adding a significant number of those incidents are happening in schools and are anti-Semitic in nature. Warning, the person responsible is likely a student, making this an opportunity for education, not punishment. It might be someone who didn't really understand the impact of their words and language, and we need to be ready to forgive that's the situation that we find ourselves in. Well, I did ask the superintendent today how he plans to handle this situation. Should it be a student that ends up being responsible? And he said that it will depend heavily on the situation, but that student safety is their number one priority. So it's likely they'll follow their standard policy, which could include suspending that student or even giving them an expulsion. We are in Wilton. I'm Caitlin Gossie, Fox 61 News.